So now in this video, we're going to look at the uh, LM393 comparator. So this looks like the uh, op amp that I've been using uh, lately, the LM358. They use the same uh, schematic symbol for op amps and comparators, but all this does is work as a comparator. We're going to wire it as non-inverting. And this does not output a high signal. We need a pull-up resistor for the high signal, but it will connect to ground for a uh, low signal. So that's something to be aware of. But in case we're using the LM393 uh, here, and it has the same pin layout. We were recently doing the LM358 in this video series, and you can see that uh, the pin layout is the same. So output the uh, top left pin, then the inverting input, one spot down, and the non-inverting input, one spot down. I have the inverting above the non-inverting there, so it lines up uh, pretty well. Now, I already have our trim pot here to set a uh, variable resistance to the, uh, it goes to that white jumper there, the non-inverting input. We're going to take a couple 100 kilo ohm resistors. So I actually have a 100 kilo ohm resistors this time. And uh, I was using 10 kilo ohms again. Doesn't matter, we're setting a voltage. So that's going to go to the positive rail and then second pin down the inverting input and then this one to the uh, negative rail and then again to the inverting input second pin down there. So we have half of the supply voltage. Now we have to use that pull up resistor at the output because it's open collector as I said before. So you can see we got uh, this jumper here. I'm going to uh, grab a 1 kilo ohm resistor because we're going to go up to five, uh, 12 volts, I mean. We're going to start at 5, work our way up to 12. So, now you notice we have the resistor directly to the output, and that jumper goes to the output, the top pin down here. I can put an LED in its place, and right now the LED is on, which means the output is high right now thanks to the uh, pull-up resistor. I'm going to move that uh, light. It was in a bad spot. So there we go. So it is, in fact, I didn't know where it was. It's pointing up here right now. I'll turn it down, and now you can see we get less than halfway. So there is still going to be current flow. In fact, there's more current flow in this situation when the LED is off. That's because current's going through the uh, resistor directly to ground, whereas when the LED is on, now no current's going in or out of the output at all. Current's going through the jumper, the resistor, that jumper, through the LED. So we have the uh, voltage drop of the LED. If I yank the resistor, there you can see we have no current path. So that's one nice thing about looking at the current being provided by a power supply. So now, again, we can go up to 12 volts. This works exactly the same, except for now, more current is flowing through the LED, and then uh, more current is flowing directly to ground through the integrated circuit right there. So that's the uh, comparator, the uh, difference from a lot of uh, integrated circuits is that it does not source current. It only sinks it, it'll bring it directly to ground, it does not provide uh, power at the output from the positive rail. So. Hopefully that makes sense. There's a number of integrated circuits that work like that, so I'm not going to dwell on it too much. There's a lot more other study material and stuff that you can look at that can explain it better than I can. So, in any case, hopefully you still enjoyed the video. Check out one of the other videos. If you can, subscribe to, uh, or uh, donate to my Patreon, and uh, click the bell and everything. I will see you in the next video.